Ah, oh, right as soon as I hit the local record button, I get the stretch. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Which I'm playing for the first time. We have to get stretched and ready to get out on this adventure. Last time, we got the lower dump. And then Shinra proceeded to dump the roof of the dome over Sector 7. And we got out. Aerith and Marlene got out. That's about it, though. But Aerith only got out because she was kidnapped, and now we gotta find a way to go after her. That's about the extent of that. So off we go. You finally think you're making living in the pits of Midgar, and then a big piece of scrap like that falls down here. What's next? Yeah, but even so, where could we move to? Maybe you'd better look up. Anyone who'd bring the plates down on us is nuts. I was gonna tell them it was Shinra. Turtle Paradise News number one. For a delicious wine with a nice zing to it, stop by Turtle's Paradise. I thought there'd be a number two since there were two papers. I got a turbo ether. Thanks, kid. Alright, what else have we got around here? Gotta make sure that I've got, like, items and equipment up to date. I have 23 potions. I could probably stand to make that 25. Four Phoenix Downs. Three Poison Cures. Two Tanks. Maybe if the barterer was, I'm gonna bring the plate down if you don't sell me this thing, then maybe they'd barter. I own a fire, an ice, a lightning, and a restore, but I could buy more, but they're kind of expensive. Yeah, although we still don't really know about the wonderful world of odd jobs because... Yeah, we were supposed to find out about that on Thursday, but then the audio issue persisted. So, maybe at some point in the near future, we will finally learn about that. We can stop the meteor from hitting the Earth. Which, come to think of it, <laughs> there's an awful resemblance to Final Fantasy VII when you think about it. Okay, I know I'm supposed to go back to Wall Market. Because I'm pretty sure at the end of the last stream, Tifa said, you yeah, know, let's go back to Wall Market. There might be a lead there. But now I have to remember how to get there. I think it's through this way. Maybe. <laughs> Why don't I just temporarily turn off the encounter so that if I'm wrong about this... If I'm wrong about this, then I don't have to waste a bunch of time and resources on battles. Oh yeah, up this beam that doesn't look like you should be able to climb it. Ah, well, okay. That, this was worth coming for anyway. A materia. This is the destroyed ruins of the city, but over to our right. 
This is the way to Walmart. Get right. Right. Okay. <laughs> Does this item machine work now? It didn't work before. Hmm. No comment from Barrett or Tifa. Come on out, Snake. You're safe with me, Cloud. At least until we fight in Smash Ultimate. Hey, it's you. I already heard about you. In addition to dressing like a woman, it seems you like to smash and grind things. We only let cultured customers in. Got it? Then you'd better leave. Maybe you can't reach it? I don't know. It came down from the sky, but the old guy who likes tanks took all of it away. I wanted some too. I wonder what that could be. I don't know, actually, because I've not played this. Whoa, don't just stand there, say something. Couple more silence cures would be good. We had to use one earlier. Like, it's not bad just to have like a couple of all the status items. So, thanks for those, and we'll be going now. According to that guy with the tank, if you're strong enough, anyone can make it to the top plate. Blah, 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 food. Uh, build your strength. No. I know, unbelievable. Still can't sit in the kitchen, game is a liar. Interactive eating that has to have happened. Absolutely has to have happened. Oh, actually, I know a very recent example of this. It's Pentiment. That game from Obsidian on the Xbox. Yeah, the one where you go back to the 16th century and solve murder mysteries while trying to find purpose in your life as an artist on commission. actually does have it because it's a very point-and-click game. It's a very point-and-click style game and uh, yeah, you're asked how you want to spend your time and time is limited so you gotta be careful with your choices but each uh, in every day's cycle you have your work time where you can go around talk to people do your job and then you have your uh, scheduled eating time. Yeah, everyone has lunch and dinner around the same time. And so part of gathering information is talking to people, and a lot of talking happens at meals. So when it is time for a meal, you're asked, who do you want to dine with? And you pick someone, and you'll get a conversation with that family. And so, you won't hear from the other families, but you can talk to whichever one you want at any given time. And it's during those conversations, they'll stop and be like, Now you have to eat one of your things. So, maybe it's not quite as fully interactive as you're imagining, but every meal gives you three food items, and you can pick which order you eat them in. So I'll be like, talk, 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 oh, I'm gonna eat the potage. Talk, 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 I'm gonna eat the bread. Talk, talk, talk. The owner of the weapon shop scavenged all the stuff. Oh, another example that I have actually played on this channel, and the VOD for this one is saved, was Alba, a wildlife adventure. It's actually a totally optional thing. 
But if Alba gets a food item, you get to control how fast she eats it. Oh, we got a pipe to the upper plate, eh? Everyone's just telling us to go to the weapon shop. But first, how's this restaurant doing? It's very cute and very short. Even if you're going for 100%, you can beat the game in like six hours, tops. I'm not familiar with that one. All right, Tim. No, you're not important dialogue, you're shop. You better have batteries. You gonna sell me something? Hey, I repaired them, so it's all right. Why do I need batteries to climb up to the plate? You'll find out when you get there. How about a hundred gil for each? Hmm, if I say he's full of it, he might ask for more money. And a hundred honestly doesn't seem that bad. So I'm just gonna roll with it. And if you missed any upgrades here, like perhaps this mithril armlet for Barret. Since I have three equipped, but then one of those must be on uh, Aerith. It's only 350, I'll buy one more. Yeah, that's just an overall upgrade. So he's got cover. I don't know what sense does. It gives you a command, though. Oh, is that like the, uh... Is that the equivalent for, uh, tattling? If I put it in Paper Mario terms, like, it'll tell me the HP and the weaknesses. I'm pretty sure I had a character who was able to do that in Final Fantasy VI. Now, who would that be best on? None of these three are really slouches in the physical attacking department. I don't think it matters too much, then, who I put it on. But you already have the steel command, so I wonder if you can even have a fifth command. Apparently, it would allow it. <laughs> so, uh, go figure. <laughs> Ah, it just shows up on the right side of the box. Uh, but then if I have her stealing, then I'd want someone else to do the sensing, right? Because that'll take more turns to sense and steal. <laughs> They're not cloud. In fact, I have an idea. <laughs> This will give Barret a magic attack. It'll lower his other stuff by a little bit. But, yeah, you know, he has a gun, so I'll remember that he has the fire spell because all I have to think is fire! Like his gun arm. What do you say now? I'm again. Okay, so now I'm supposed to climb some sort of pipe. Wanna see something awesome? Follow me. Okay, random kid. Oh, that's what this screen is for. And this is where the pipe is. Everyone climbed up this wire. Can we climb it? It leads to the upper world. You know how far up it goes. I mean, Cloud, do you know how far you fell 
before landing in Eris Church? You think going up is the issue? Well, to me, this looks like a golden shiny wire of hope. It is the only way to save Aerith. Okay, that was a bad analogy, which is something my students tell me all the time. But Barrett, I understand. <laughs> no mercy. How did people reach this graffiti up here before, like, what I mean is how did people get this graffiti up here before this pipe was around? Or even if this pipe was around, how could they reach from the pipe to spray all the way over there? Scary, huh? Dad told me it's Shinra's doing. Yeah, but where's the scaffolding? I don't see any scaffolding. Cloud is very parkour. Is this where the battery goes? No? This isn't showing me an exit. So I can climb this, but then... Saying A over here. Cloud. Wow. You gotta stop doing this to me, man. I think I have the right idea, but then you lead me astray. This happened last time. stopped conveniently in the spot where it wasn't already stopped before. So, that lets me get up here, but... Then what? Then I do this. This seems like a really thin stretch of thing to be able to walk across. Also, like, how have we not fallen off of this place yet? Like, what is the gravity? Are we on the moon? Actually, that would explain a lot. If that's true, obviously don't tell me because there's... There's some spoilery things I know, but there's other spoilery things I don't know. So if we're secretly living on the moon, and that's why Cloud can fall from giant heights and climb all this wreckage without much issue. I'm pressing A. He's not doing anything. We go. At least he told me that I was what I was supposed to do that time. So that when it would when it didn't work, at least I knew I was doing the right thing and it just wasn't working. <laughs> Very 
very funny. <laughs> You know, that doesn't feel like as much of a stretch to me, because I played Xenoblade Chronicles and there's a character who also has to do climbing like this with one arm. <laughs> and like, he's very muscular. If anyone's single arm is gonna be as strong as Cloud's two arms, it's gonna be him. I'm just gonna match this button everywhere. Not that button. I accidentally pressed it the left stick. Saying that I had to go down this pipe. Why did they even let me go down the middle pipe? That was very misleading. Jump to the. I did not expect this session to be mostly platforming. I'm kind of waiting for the game to turn back into an RPG. Soon. His exact wording is before it gets too close, which makes enough sense because he's expecting it to swing towards him and then he'll be able to catch it. I don't know if I'll stream it, but I did purchase FF7R on sale on the Steam Deck. So I do own it, and that is my motivating factor for playing the original, because I keep getting told, do, do this one first. <laughs> Darn, it's not screen wrapping. Yeah, this is my second Final Fantasy, but it's my first time playing this one. You know, the big one that, like, everybody's played. I did like six. Never actually finished it though. But I got really far in. And it wasn't for lack of liking it, because like I just said, I did like it. <laughs> but uh, it was for. I, I just couldn't beat an enemy. At some point, there, there was a boss that I could not beat. Every floor above the 60th is special. 
Must be where they took her. Well, if I could have beaten that boss, I would have kept playing it. I'm kind of tempted to say let's bust on in just because maybe we'll get in more fights that way. But it has been a hot minute since we had a fight. But the lore dump and then the giant platforming section. On the other hand, if I pick Sneak In, then I'm agreeing with Tifa. You know, Tifa's cool. What to do, what to do. But then again, there are reasons why Tifa, of all people, should be okay with busting in. Kinda like we did with Don Corneo. <laughs> and now to make a save that I can have separate from <laughs> separate from the last one. <laughs> oh wait, right. Last time we learned that there are more than three slots on each page, and I was mind blown. Are two passages. Ah, oh, was this the sneaking in option? <laughs> the other one was the bust in option. Alright, I'll I'm a man of my word. Let's bust in. Here comes a fight. I should have healed Tifa and Barrett. It will be fine. Ooh, got a tranquilizer. Zap. Fire on! That's doing. Nice heal. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Excuse me, if you don't have an appointment, y'all have to... I don't need an appointment. I don't need no appointment. This is emergency. Anyone who doesn't want to get their face bashed in better get out of the way. Yeah! Who do they think they are? You think they're avalanche? Seize them! All those people, but you only sent four of them, and then only two of them actually showed up for battle. Let's try out sense. That in A level 10, HP 130 at max 76 right now. I mean, it's a very tempting move. <laughs> then again, yeah, you know, I do like being able to have some thought in the battle system. Like how we had Sea of Stars, where I almost lost. <laughs> Very much almost lost in Sea of Stars. That made it fun in a different way. <laughs> hmm. It seemed like that was a set of stairs I could go down. It was not. I can imagine it did.
What's behind the desk? Do do do. See how they run. Do do do. See how they run. Five. But that is way too much time for this game. <laughs> For some games, nah, but for this one, yeah. Clouds close to level 14. For this original PS1 game? <laughs> okay, but no, I mean for a PS1 era RPG. Because for some games, 500 hours makes plenty of sense. the words coming out of my mouth about my judgment for people playing this game this long, that only applies to me. People can do what they want, and I really don't care. But me, I would not be spending 500 hours on a PS1 RPG. Oh, the N64 was before my time. No, no, Barrett, we can take the money. Oh, we're actually buying stuff from him. Pathetic. He was gonna pay us. <laughs> Does that mean I can take these chests now? What the heck? Shinra, blah, 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 blah. Why am I seeing a car ad? Welcome to Shenra. I was just imagining a little voiceover <laughs> for that thing. Game specific cars. It's more of a proof of concept and then a bunch of James Bond. I don't know, how long before we get Kirby on a car? Like, mouthful mode. <laughs> A.K.A. Carby. <laughs> I 
I mean, look, we already have Kirby Mouthful Mode instruments. <laughs> it won't be long. I can sense it. When does this elevator stop? <laughs> I've not heard any updates on it, so probably not. What the? Look. Da um. Stop it, Cloud. I don't care where. Are we supposed to be going up and down and up and down? Because the numbers were all over the place. Hey, we ended up on the 16th floor. Maybe that means Final Fantasy 16 is next. Oh, wait. <laughs> I know the different forms of Deoxys, but I don't have committed to memory what each one looks like off the top of my head. Besides, like, the basic one. I had a nice figurine of that when I was a kid, like, the basic one. And it had bendable arms, kind of like the Guardian Amiibo. Favorite amiibo is Pikmin. That is the freak. I decided that a long time ago, and that is an easy question. And I do have it. jumped seven floors that time. The Squishy Metroid is definitely cool, but it doesn't outclass the Pikmin to me. Another good one is, of course, the Yarn Yoshi. Yep, just the Pikmin, not Olimar. Olimar's fine, but the design of the actual A Pikmin, Pikmin amiibo, with just all five of the Pikmin from Pikmin 3. 
Uh, no, I was not thinking of going back to the first floor. I didn't know what that door did. No, no white or purple on that. Although, if you look at the box art for Pikmin 4, they're pretty front and center. Which is interesting, because they have not been around for a while. in Pikmin 3, but only for mission mode. But uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're at the center of the Pikmin 4 box art, which makes me think that they won't just be random mission mode Pikmin, they'll be more integral this time. And since it seems like the caves are coming back, you gotta wonder if they'll just be the kind that you can get in caves again, or how that will play out. Um, based on the box art, no. I mean, there is the possibility that they are hiding another Pikmin type and not putting it on the box art, but since Pikmin 3 had both rock and flying on it, and since the key art for Pikmin 4 shows all the Pikmin that have ever existed plus ice, like, rock is not on the box art, but you can see flying in the box art, and there are images where you see both rock and ice, they're not just a replacement. So, I'm not gonna say it's impossible. Like, they could just hold that close to their chest until July. But since they haven't done it for the past Pikmin games... I'm just assuming not. We'll see. But, the types are really becoming very Pokemon-esque. Like, red has gone full on fire, yellow, electric, blue is water, now we have ice, flying is also a type of Pokemon, rock is also a type of Pokemon. Um, white is poison type, right? And, uh, my god, what is purple? I mean, purple is heavy. That'd be like fighting type? Or would it be more like normal type? They're like, Snorlax is a normal type, and that's heavy. And you also got, like, Blissey, normal type, with, like, large HP. Or is that part fairy type now? I forget. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so I, like, I guess that means, uh, what do we need? Bug Pikmin, Grass Pikmin. Which is weird, because they're all plants anyway. Um... <laughs> yeah... Ah, what else? In some ways, flying Pikmin are like bug and fairy types. This is a long elevator. Am I supposed to talk? Oh, that's what I was missing. <laughs> I'm like, surely the elevator will end eventually. We're moving up one floor. What other types of that leave? Obviously, Dragon Pikmin. Gotta have the Dragon Pikmin. And 
Jeez, it's like some other major. Now, maybe the purple are dark Pikmin? I'm surprised they're not battling us, but okay. failed that. <laughs> oh no, we've been pincing. Somersault. <laughs> if we're talking about bug types, then yes. Although these seem more like steel types. Oh, that's another one. Steel Pikmin. Or Metal Pikmin. Pikmin bots. Oh my god, Pikmin robots. I have just found the main new mechanic for Pikmin 5. We need to archive this moment for future generations so that when Pikmin 5 has robotic Pikmin, the world can say, wow, he called that years ago. Or if it happens in Pikmin 4, he called it months ago, <laughs> which is less impressive. <laughs> but still kind of cool that anyone thought that would happen and then it did. Well, I still have to catch up on Prime 2 and 3, so I can wait, <laughs> but that's just me. Ah, uh, let's see. What are other Pokemon types again? Flying, um, uh, uh, Psychic Pikmin. Bring on the Psychic Pikmin. Way there. Oh, I have to get these guys too. Ah, frick. Nintendo doesn't hate echoes that much. Fire Emblem echoes was great. That was a joke. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> limited history with Fire Emblem. Echoes was my first, and is currently my favorite. Three Houses was, I mean, that Three Houses was nice enough for me to play it three and a half times. Uh, and yes, I do mean three and a half, not four. <laughs> uh, what else did we get? I played a tiny bit of Fire Emblem 1 when they did that limited release for the NES version. <laughs> Uh, that's definitely not my favorite. Um, and I'm not far enough in Engage to know if it surpasses Echoes. I don't think it will. But very, it's still very early. Too early for judgment. Are there any other Fire Emblem things? You mean, like, most recently? As far as, like, how far in the game I am?
No, I did not play Fates. There were too many Fates for me to even think about it. I thought they were about to turn. I thought I had the rhythm down. Well, if you want irony, the last emblem I engaged with was Celica. Yeah, the one from Gaiden, which was what Echoes was the remake of. week off from work and I'm hoping that this will be a very nice boon to me playing Engage. I keep finding excuses not to play it. Which is bad because I don't dislike the game. I'm just still very early in. I need it to get its full hooks in me. But since it didn't get its full hooks in me, I was taking care of like the best of 2022 videos which are finally almost done. I edited three more of those today. Which I'm very proud of being able to have done. Uh, which means the only one left that I need to edit is Game of the Year. And then SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake came out and I was really looking forward to that one and I got my copy early and I thought, this game is short, I'm just gonna blast through it before I go back to engage. Yeah, Engage is totally fine so far. Oh, Cola, am I gonna have to do the whole thing over again? engages right now I'm still on the tutorials like it. each battle is introducing one or two things first if you're a newcomer then it's very good about easing you in but now that I've played a couple fire emblems right now it's mostly stuff that I already know from past titles what's very interesting is how they changed the way the weapon triangle works they did not change the weapon triangle itself it's still the same triangle, but they put a lot more focus on it in this one, and like, it matters so much more. Oh, okay, good. I fought them enough times that they have just... They're dead. They've given up. <laughs> I'm okay with this. What happened in six hours? They talking about how long it took to do the stealth section. <laughs> Yeah, now that about checks out, because I've only been playing this on stream. And each stream has lasted, like, two hours. Now, uh, Spongebob, I 100%ed that one. Sometime at... It was like, maybe a week ago I finished the game. I don't know if it was worth a hundred percenting. Because the way they go about hiding collectibles in the levels is a little mundane. 
Like, they do that whole thing of come back to the level with a new ability that you'll get later, and then you can get these collectibles. But the thing about that is, the abilities feel completely arbitrary. And you basically have to play every level twice just to find everything. But as a follow-up to Battle for Bikini Bottom, I'd say it succeeds pretty well. I'm cute, huh? Things. How to get to the next floor. Shinra Repair Division. I got key card 62. Woo! I need key card 61. I was trying to check the table. It looked like there was something on it. I cannot offhand think of a favorite secret. A button around these plants in case someone dropped a key card in the plant. I'm assuming these are plants. I mean, the one in the middle is definitely a tree. was floor 61 and now that got me to floor 62. Okay, so now I need to look around here for 63. The Ancients in History. Ranks and extended use of Maka weaponry. Illustrated guide to sitting planning, reactor construction chart, data on experiments. How do you do? This is Midgar Mayor's office. Um, yeah, I got a question. Can you give me a key card? <laughs> If you can guess the password. Hmm. I like special items, but I should look around a bit more before I go making assumptions. Gotta have something to do with the libraries, right? <laughs> on the plate in front of each library to see which it is. No, 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 no.
Lots of triangles on the ground. Yeah, that leads to the outer elevator. Is there anything new? What do you want to know? Help! For 500 gil, forget it. Hmm, you drive a hard bargain. How much gil do I have anyway? 6,129. Imagine if it's password. Seven, fourteen, seventeen. I'm going to grab a pen. Now, am I probably overcomplicating this? Sure. But I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna draw a little map here. <laughs> and I'm gonna label the libraries and the numbers. Peace Preservation and Weapon Dev. And we had seven... 14, 17, I believe. I'm gonna double check that. I know the top one was seven. Wait a minute. Oh, the backs are different. Seven, two, 14, one, and 17 on the front. No, 10? What happened to the 17? Was there never a 17? <laughs> 7 2 14 1 Alright, I'm just gonna write down those numbers. Oh, and by the way, this is also pink. So the green room is space development. Six. And the next one down. Also six. Wow, oh, two then six. And then four. Fifteen. Fifteen on the front, four on the back. No. Ah, please look at the shelf. One, four, fifteen.
four. Eight. Four, fourteen, two. was the blue room, which is scientific research. Hello, urban development. Six. Nine. Nice. Five. Two. What did we learn from this picture? Well, <laughs> the numbers that were by themselves were seven, two, six, and four. Um, the number two it shows up in every single room. There's a four, there's several fours on the right side, but none on the left side, unless you count the four and fourteen. Which shows up on the two, the top left and the bottom right. Uh, the bottom two rooms have an eight. <laughs> Other two diagonals have a six in common. So there's a bunch of numbers from one to fifteen. Which ones do not show up? I'm gonna write those down. There is no three. We've had a few ones, but there is no three. Uh, two, four. We have a five, yes, six, yes, seven, yes, eight, yes, nine, yes, ten, yes, eleven, no. Twelve, also a no. And thirteen, also a no, but every other number from one to fifteen shows up at least once. Anything hidden in this corner? <laughs> if you take the first four letters, <laughs> enjoy the lurk. If you take the first four letters from the name of each room, it spells puss, which tells me that he's being a pussy. <laughs> And if you compare cat to the numbers 3, 11, 12, and 13, the 13 is an unlucky number, which unlucky is associated with black cats, therefore black 13 is possibly the password, maybe. I'm a genius. It all makes sense. You can't hide things from me, Final Fantasy 7. We have not had a save point in a hot minute. Maybe it is worth the 500. Do you have any, like, notes in here that I can peruse? Wait a minute. <laughs> there are options. <laughs> Best King, Orb Bomb, Mako Hojo. Are we 
we sure it's not puss? Because I was very convinced it was puss. Where would those words even come from? Best King Orbs. I mean, I know about Mako, and there are orbs of Mako, which Shinra uses. They think they're the best. Wait, did these numbers change? Oh my god, there's multiple numbers on each shelf. I was trying to test that earlier, and none of them came up that way. Oh my god. All right, they clearly want you to buy the hint. <laughs> Okie dokie. Help! <laughs> there are four research libraries for four different sections. Parts of the password are hidden in each of the libraries. Pay attention to the file. Wait a minute. Every room has a two in it. Key? Problems with plate construction? Two in this room was at the top. E. And two in this room was behind the shelf. E E M B. That's not an option. You say anything new? Oh, there's a next hint. <laughs> Give me the hint again. I'm gonna write down these options. Best thing orbs bomb Mako Audio. I was leaning towards bomb, but wasn't quite lining up. Okay, it can't be- it cannot be file 2 related because this one has a P in it and none of these words even have a P in it, let alone start with one. I feel like this is where the first letter would be hidden because it's the top left.
Public Order Weapon Development. So plans for weapons should be in here. Peacekeeping law. Members by class. I mean, that might be related if the soldiers wield weapons, but that seems the most out of place, I guess. Military use. Hmm. Now see, Modern History of the Midgar Space Program, Volume 2, seems a little out of place here because this isn't the space library. And this one starts with M. Do these all have an out of place thing? Is that why the signs keep saying don't mix stuff and I have to read the things outside? Uh, this is space development. Planet movement. Economic report for space, rocket travel. Failed space mission. Medgar City map does not fit in here, which also has an M. And none of these have two M's. Bomb has one M, Mako has one M. What else have I got? Uh, this is science research. Mako weaponry doesn't really... Would Mako weaponry fit in science? I mean, I guess it kinda does, but then I'm not so sure. Hi, Mako levels. Land-dwelling life. Ancients and history. Biologist makes plenty of sense for this room. Living beings make enough sense. Land dwelling life. Weaponry is probably the one thing out of place unless it's the ancients and history. So either T or R, maybe. This is urban development, city planning, lake construction. Reactor construction. Animals near Midgar, the city maps. These seem out of place. Maybe we need something sciencey. Maybe the animals living near Midgar. That's all I can think. Yes, but it does say experimental. But if that's data, then that's. Do I need to use the number? This has a six on it. It could be something like the sixth letter of the alphabet. Like, just ignore what the file actually says and just notice it's out of place. So 
So I was torn between 14 and... Four, although four seems more likely. I don't know, A, B, C, D. Wait, the fourth letter of the alphabet is D. And then the sixth letter is F. There is no D, F word on this list. That one also has a four. And then the last one in here was the space program with a 17. Wait, M is 13. N. O. The Q. There is no Q. He was definitely the 17th letter of the alphabet. This isn't on some sort of ship cipher, is it? Ugh. Two of the wrong files have the same number as each other, which might imply that in the password there are two repeat letters, and that only happens in Bomb with the B and Hojo with the O. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. H is eight, though. How much is this guy gonna charge me for the next hint? Forget it. I'm starting to see how you could spend 500 hours playing Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> One with the 17 belongs here. The one with the four starts with. M goes there. This one with the weaponry should actually go here. And then the scientific data should go there. So they all have one file out of place, right? That's got to be the main thing about this. R M M D four 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 seventeen four six.
A, B, C, D. 17 is Q. B, 4 is D, E, F. And then if we were to shift that by some amount... But also, what order am I supposed to be reading these in? Experimental animals living near Midgard. Any of these have an N in it. I have another idea. Wait a minute. I might, I, I think I have it, but I need to confirm in the other two rooms, but I do think I solved this. Is that file in here? Two, three, four. So far it's working. If this works, I will tell you what I did. <laughs> No? Really? Wait. I have to be very careful about this. M O D E R N H I S T X 10 O R Y O F M I. Yes, it's King. <laughs> the answer is King. Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> In case you can't tell what I'm doing there. So the out of place files, the number at the start of the file tells you how many letters into the title of the file you need to count to get the letters. Therefore, each one of them pointed you to K-I-N-N-G. And the only password with those four letters in it is King. Ha! I didn't need your thousand gill hint. Give me my special item because I am the puzzle solving king. Oh, and of course, because he wants to be the king of Midgar. I never thought you'd get it on the first try. Elemental material. Ooh, he wants me to make them suffer. All right. Fellow Professor Leighton Aficionado over there. <laughs> this is why I'm good at escape rooms. <laughs> Some friends and I talked about this the other day. Like, you bring me to an escape room, we got a really good shot. It's not a guarantee, of course. I mean, sometimes I'll have an off day or the puzzle will be just a little too obtuse for me, or I'll miss something stupid. But I got it. The Leighton movie that I never watched? <laughs> That'd be kind of hard to remember. I 
Nice job. Adds materia element to equipped weapon or armor. So how would that work? Because I have ice and lightning equipped. Oh, wait, because you can only... Because there's only two slots. So I'd have to remove ice or lightning from here. And then if I added the elemental thing, I would either get a lightning or ice weapon, whichever I kept around. Interesting. That could work against me. And depending on the situation. Because I know I had something like that happen in Final Fantasy VI. Where I would give someone an elemental weapon. But then at some point there would be an enemy who was like... They drain that element, right? And I would actually heal them by attacking. So if I'm not careful, I could totally negate any effect my weapon would have on certain enemies. Because I can't imagine that that wouldn't happen in this game with this being right after 6. That's just gonna take some... I'm being careful. Maybe even some thinking ahead. Hmm. Now I have key card 65. But they're letting me walk around 63. An air duct. I cannot climb in there. Oh, there's an item up there. Can I go through these? No. I can't, like, press this button and change the walls. Oh, it's one of these. Do not enter the ducts. Hmm. Well, it would be nice if I could see more of the area to properly evaluate which doors I was going to open. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of stuff. Also, imagine working at anywhere, like... A like, think about the implications of this in a real-world context for a second. I know it's a game, but, like, you work at a job, and they say, Oh, well, today your door opening privileges are limited to three. So, uh, you know, go ahead and do your job, but, like, be careful, because after your third door opening, you won't be able to open anymore. <laughs> I want to look around at the items, but I haven't saved in a very long time, and... Like, if I use my door opening privileges, then they're gone. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Is this floor also a giant puzzle? Oh, in before this floor is a bunch of jabs at Nintendo because of the whole thing that happened with the Philips CDI. Because this is floor 64, so if there was ever a time to stick it to them, it would be here. You can rest up in the next room. He's had a security, and there we are talking to him. It says I can use any open machine, but let's not try the random energy drink. Lies, this won't work out. Oh hey, a save point.
Oh hey, now I can try doing something on the floor below and I'd be able to reset. It. Out of order, use a different floor. Not a single stall. Locked. 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 Except for the one that gave me an ether. What's this, a megaphone? I don't know, the megaphone could be useful. Phoenix down. All right, that guy's got good stuff in his locker. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually gonna save one more time just so I don't have to reopen those lockers because I went through a lot of lockers. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to hit yes there because we just rested and no fights have happened, but... <laughs> Still wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> Now I can at least think about using my door opening privileges. Now it would be good to avoid having to open double doors. I'm curious about what's further to the left. Okay, like maybe the better option is enter through here, go down, and then I would at least No, wait, wait, that would use all three right away. Maybe here left and then down. Wow. Well, gotta start trying stuff. So Ah, uh, that's mean. You can't get into the middle one without doing this stuff. I got a B coupon. Oh, you can start over. Okay, I thought that might be the case, but I wasn't convinced, so... Coupon change. V coupon, four slots. Oh, never mind. Let me do all clear first. That seems like a weird limitation. Oh, it puts the item back. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't pay close enough attention to the list. They clearly want you to make a choice. Star Pendant is the A coupon. C coupon is all material. I don't know what all does. Wait a minute. <laughs> all might be the... If I equip that, does my magic hit all enemies? 
because I don't seem to be able to do that in this game the way that I could in 6. So if that's locked to a materia, then that is something. And the star pendant is probably a really good piece of equipment. Yeah, right, let me try going along the top. Beep, beep, open. Beep, beep, open. They said the air ducts were dangerous. That's the A coupon. Then climb in and look around. That is dangerous. Oh, uh, this one connects to the first one so that you don't have to... If you get into one, you can get into the other. And it also connects back to the computer. Wait, why won't it let me turn? There we go. I don't put a path there if you don't want me walking it. I still have one more door opening, right? Heck yeah. Alright, two tries. Woo! And now I can take the air duct back to the computer. <laughs> That's why they have the exit there. Right, there's a lot of do the opposite of what you're told here. Wait, how can I... I did get all three, right? <laughs> A, B, C, yeah, there they are. Star Pendant, 4 slot, all materia. Alright, that floor was not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, uh, what'd we get? Star Pendant, protects against poison. Sounds good. I like passive resistances to status ailments. Probably give that to Tifa. All effects on paired magic. What the heck is paired? Oh, paired as in, like, with the materia. That could also potentially be good for Tifa, so that I would just heal everybody every time. Well, that's only because she's the one I gave heal to for the moment. Now, where's this four slots thing? Oh, it's a uh, piece of equipment. Increases magic defense at the expense of regular defense. I don't know, kind of sounds more like an Aerith item. Alright, you're my star, Tifa. The question is, do I want to put all on anybody right now? I gave Cloud the most offensive magic so far. But actually, wait, well, it probably has to be in the same piece of equipment. Like, I could probably only give it to one spell. 
in that case... I'm gonna change that to all and just put steel here. <laughs> of course, I can always change that around whenever. <laughs> Unless it's during the middle of a fight. Trying to move on, still haven't fought anybody. And I can just save over this one. Up we go. What do you mean, locked? <laughs> also, I can't possibly go up any higher, right? I don't have a key card. Oh, that's how that works. I can get in the vestibule, but not out of it. <laughs> hey, encounters are back. Dragons, but with a chainsaw. <laughs> I'm out of Midgar. Uh, I suppose that's neat and all. Bye. <laughs> you're locked. You're locked. What kind of person goes around locking their valuables in chests? Don't you know you're supposed to leave them open for the protagonists? This guy would make a good courtroom judge. Seemed like a robot to me. I could be wrong. Midgar parts. Insert the part. Something opened up. What's the scale of that run? I got more parts. Wait, why am I attacking him? Did pull a disappear? That's me. I thought you were just a robot. I didn't know you were a ghost robot. Oh wait, actually. <laughs> So I just got the next set of parts, so I'll go in here.
This is a weird security measure. I'll get so tired of going back and forth that they'll just leave us alone. This one must be the staircase one for sure. Hey. Oh, that was a key card. Oh, I don't have to fix the last part because they destroyed it and they accounted for that in the model. Dang. Rip Sector 7. <laughs> made back the guild that I spent on that one hint. Which, honestly, I shouldn't have needed that one hint. But I did use it. <laughs> At least I didn't pay for any more hints. Also, it's not like Layton and we don't have a specialized currency just for buying hints, so... If that was the case, that would have been, you know, a much easier purchase. Nope, I am not. <laughs> I mean, if there's any place to gush, it's underwater, because, like, if the liquid will just dissipate. Although I don't know how that helps the ecosystem, and I assume they care about that if they're marine biologists, so... Then again, it's not like maybe they should gush on land after all. <laughs> Let me check one thing here. Anything going on? Hmm, I would send us there, but that would be spoilery. Alright, well, it would have been nice to finish here at Shinra, but we're getting up there in time because I spent so much time trying to get that passport. <laughs> so, having that next key card, I'm gonna wrap things up there. Until the next Final Fantasy VII, when we will probably, most likely, finish this place. I'd, I'd say there's a decent chance. The non-zero possibility. And hopefully, the audio stays fixed with this little solution I had, and streams can get back to being the regular. <laughs> so, cheers to that. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Hope you have a good one. <laughs>